This is Chef AJ's lasagna, and I don't have it baked yet. I just assembled it, but it is super good and always a crowd pleaser. So it has a layer of tofu spinach uh, with garlic and a lot of fresh basil. So that's yummy. Plus it's got glazed mushrooms in it, which are made with mushrooms, red onions, and tamari sauce glazed. And then you top it with some faux Parmesan cheese made with either cashews or oatmeal if you're doing lower fat, sliced olives, and you bake it for about an hour and it is super, super good. Chef AJ's lasagna. Then over here, I made a salad called the Rainbow Kale Salad. And I got this recipe from WholeFoodsMarket.com. As you can see by my recipe here, I made this back in 2011 with the uh, reminder that this makes a big, big batch. So it's got uh, some, here's the recipe for you if you don't want to look it up. I could not find dinosaur kale at our local store, which is more of a flat leaf. So I did le use uh, curly leaf lettuce in this but I massaged it because sometimes I think it's too bitter. Then it's got red cabbage and clementines, red onion, red pepper. Then the dressing, I always say, keep that on the side and see how much you want. So you don't have to use that dressing if you don't want to. Uh, you could use your own favorite dressing. You just combine everything in a bowl and uh, make the dressing and toss it. But again, I don't put the dressing in right away. So this does make a big, big batch super nutritious, super good. Then here I made a recipe. A friend sent me the recipe for these better milk biscuits and you can make them whatever size you want. I made mine kind of small. That is a Jane and Ann Esselstyn YouTube video. So if you just Google or go to YouTube and type in better milk biscuits with Jane and Ann Esselstyn, you'll see the recipe for that. And they turned out really, really good. In fact, to top them, I made this little garlic spread. Oops, sorry about the camera here. This is Dr. McDougall's garlic bread, basically. And really, it's just like a garlic paste. I roasted some garlic, mashed it with a little veggie broth and a little um, salt, if you wish. If you're using salt, you could use different a different salt-free seasoning if you want. But I plan to take these biscuits and spread this garlic paste on there and have little garlic biscuits. So good to go with that lasagna. Then over here, okay, by the way, this is what the dressing looks like for that uh, rainbow kale salad. But again, you don't have to use that particular dressing recipe if you don't want to. And then check this out, carrot cake, yum, yum. Uh-oh, there's a piece missing. How did that happen? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it was me. I took it out of there because I always want to make sure that the uh, center of the cake is cooked. I have a real aversion to uncooked cake. <laughs> so, so I really like to bake it, you know, and make sure it's, it's uh, nice and good and finished and firm on the inside. So I cut a piece out there to try it. So I've got the carrot cake recipe on, I believe, my website. I'm going to double check that. The glaze, though, is from a different recipe. Hang on while I get that. So the carrot cake is my own, but the glaze recipe came from the carrot cake at the website eatplantbased.com. And there's a hyphen between plant and based. So it's eatplant-based.com. And uh, that's Terry Edwards. She has a great carrot cake recipe on there as well. But I always stick with this recipe. It's just my tried and true favorite one. But the glaze from Terry's uh, recipe is what I used on here. And then just garnished it with some little carrot, shredded organic carrot strips and nuts. And that is delicious. So that's what I've got going on here today. The lasagna, the rainbow kale salad, the rolls with garlic sauce, and the carrot cake. And if any of this inspires you, I'd love to know about it.